And uh, sometimes they don't uh, um, arrive for the hearing as witnesses. Uh, sometimes uh, they have a problem with the, the service of the subpoenas to, to whom, uh, well, we entrust, the courts entrust to them the service of some subpoenas and court processes. And then, uh, of course, the Secretary of Justice has the control over the prosecutors and we have a problem with the prosecutors. And uh, I know for a fact that uh, we need more prosecutors if we really have to, to speed up the delivery of justice uh, concerning criminal cases. Uh, um, and then we have the POW. The POW is under the DOJ and the public attorneys have a big role to play in, in the expeditious uh, termination of cases. So all these things were brought up. And so uh, I also had a... Um, exposure to the problems of the practitioners when I was in practice and, uh, well, in the selection of uh, nominees for the judge positions when I was JBC member. So I said, probably I'm being too selfish if I will not throw my hat into the ring. And so that's why I'm here. Although I was thinking I may not even have a ghost of a chance of being appointed, but uh, probably uh, I can make use of this uh, interview to probably shed light on the problems that confront the judiciary and also propose some possible solutions to it, madam. Thank you, Justice Velasco, and uh, good luck. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Attorney uh, Meha, please. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, good afternoon, Justice uh, Velasco. Um, I was looking at your PDS, and one I, I found out that one of the lectures you have given in the past is about the role of law in economic growth. Can you very briefly articulate your view on the role of law in economic growth? Well, um, our laws... Uh, should be viewed by uh, foreign investors as uh, uh, uniform and consistent. Um, so when disputes arise from laws that affect uh, uh, investments of uh, investors, uh, we, we should always take into consideration that uh, even the framers of the Constitution believe that uh, we need infusion of capital into the country. And uh, so we, we must show, especially from the judiciary, we must show to the uh, foreign investors that uh, uh, the decisions rendered by the court with regard to economic issues, subject of the cases, are predictable and uniform and consistent. So the, the investors want predictability because they will come here and sink a lot of money into some businesses here, and then all of a sudden uh, they, will be, uh, they will discover that after a case reaches the court and the decision comes out that uh, the rules were different from what they perceived to be when they first entered the country. So uh, from the judiciary, I believe that uh, we, we should always uh, see to it that our decisions uh, in cases involving economic issues uh, should be uniform and consistent and predictable. Um, thank you. Um, there are two candidates uh, nominated by Senator Sagisag as transitional chief justice who, according to him, in his letter at least, will provide a cooling period. Do you share the view that there should indeed be a cooling period? Well, uh, I don't know why they say that uh, there has to be a cooling period. Uh, well, uh, when the then chief justice was removed, Definitely, uh, I must admit, uh, there was some sadness among 
the members of the court and also the court personnel. That's understandable because your chief was taken out. But then, uh, to me, uh, we have a duty to perform under the Constitution and there are cases pending in our dockets and to me it's just like uh, business as usual after that. We really have to uh, forget what happened and move on and do our job because that's our duty under the Constitution and people are expecting that uh, we, we should decide the cases expeditiously. So, um, to us, uh, uh, we just have to do our job and continue performing it because we are duty bound to do that as prescribed under the Constitution and that's what we did. We we went on uh, with our functions, we attended committee meetings, we decided our cases, and uh, we really have to move on from what happened. I could see, uh, Justice Velasco, that uh, legal aid is something that is close to your heart. Yes. Um, how do you assess the present quality of legal aid being extended to indigent litigants? And should you become the Chief Justice, is there any more innovation uh, that you want to introduce? Thank you, uh, Professor Mejia. Um, um, I would like to state here that uh, a lot of uh, litigants in this country can be considered as proper litigants. Many do not have the financial resources to really uh, prosecute effectively their cases before the court. Um, that is why there is a big need for legal aid lawyers. Initially, the proper litigants go to the public attorney's office. And I would say that one of the causes of case delay is the lack of sufficient number of uh, public attorneys. We must create more public attorneys because in many parts of the country, uh, there are no public attorneys who can represent the proper litigants. And that is one of the main causes of delay. Uh, I don't really agree that uh, the courts are the only ones to be blamed for the case delay. There are many reasons, but we will have to focus for now on legal aid. Uh, legal aid on the part of the public attorney's office is legal aid provided by the government. Okay, and as I said, this is not enough. We must create more uh, positions for public attorneys. Let's go to uh, the voluntary legal aid. So we refer to the IBP, okay? And under our bylaws, uh, a chapter has to create a chapter legal aid committee. And the chapter legal aid, under the chapter legal aid committee, uh, there are supposed to be volunteer legal aid lawyers. Uh, I've not been active uh, now at present for a time uh, in IBP legal aid, but when I was, I was uh, executive director and national chairman, uh, there were still many practitioners who volunteer as legal aid lawyers. But uh, later on, when I was no longer uh, a national officer of the IBP, I came to know that there are fewer lawyers who want to be involved in legal aid. And that's really a, a, a main, it, sh it should be a main concern of the the hierarchy of the IBP, of the officers of the IBP, there must be a way by which we can entice more practitioners to serve as uh, legal aid lawyers. Otherwise, cases will be delayed also because of the absence of lawyers for the proper litigants. Uh, we issued uh, a resolution on mandatory legal aid and uh, the RESO requires uh, a practitioner to serve uh, 
for six 